everybody, this is Justin Branham for masterfiddle.com and in this lesson we're going to work on ways to get outside with our soloing and then bring it back home or get back inside. And you just heard me play over the fiddle tune Red Wing in the key of G and I'm using that as an example because it's a familiar tune for most of us fiddle players. It's a classic old time fiddle tune but you hear it in bluegrass, you hear it in western swing as well and I played it in more of a western swing style with some heavy jazz vocabulary and that's where a lot of our outside playing is going to come from is, is jazz really. So I'll be teaching you some patterns that are pretty standard or cliche in the jazz idiom uh, but might not be familiar if you're coming from more of a fiddle background with bluegrass or old time music or even country music but they can be used definitely in western swing context and even in bluegrass and country context as well where you're improvising and just want to get outside for a minute and so uh, oftentimes I'll hear people say, how do I get outside? Or, or they'll be playing outside and they just play random notes that don't have anything to do with anything really. They're just, they're just kind of picking dissonance for no real purpose with no pattern behind it. And oftentimes that's kind of what doesn't really give us a satisfying conclusion. And so we'll be playing, you know, it is outside because it creates dissonance, but it's not resolved very well. So all of these patterns are really good at creating a uh, two measures of dissonance and then resolving to the next chord really smoothly so that we can get away from that dissonance and get back to more standard vocabulary if we're playing something like country music maybe uh, on like a train beat you know faster definitely not a slower song but something faster where it might be appropriate to get outside you can use some of these in that situation or even in bluegrass um, we could use this in in a more progressive bluegrass situation so um, that's what we're going to do, and let's take a look at the first pattern that I have in the sheet music tablature that you can download. If you're on the website, uh, go to the resources tab right below the video player, and you can download all the sheet music and tablature. So this one is going from D7 to G, and let's learn it first and not worry about what's happening. We'll just learn the notes, and then I'll explain why this works and, and what is happening. 